My team, Grant Hagen back here with the Reality Capture Recap. It's great to see you again. I was out last Friday on a little family vacation. Welcome in if you haven't been here before. Uh, we recap all things Reality Capture. If I haven't met you yet, my name is Grant. Uh, good to see you uh, again if you are a familiar face around here. And if you're new, welcome in. Uh, we talk about these five things over here to my side. We'll bring them in here. We'll keep them real quick. Uh, lots of stuff going on this week. Man, uh, this was a pack. It was hard to actually kind of pick uh, some of these different topics here, but really excited to dive into some of them. Uh, and let's start off here with the best thing I saw. This one was very fascinating. This week, man, all things AI. This is crazy. I can't even recap this stuff in a uh, really a minute segment, but I'm going to try the most. Uh, if you haven't seen some of this stuff from OpenAI and Google and some of the stuff that they came out with uh, and all their new AI applications, I'm just going to play this video and open it up. This was fascinating. Uh, what I was shocked by is uh, just some of these improvements of what it can see visually. So this is an example really cool here uh, that as it plays, he's actually moving the camera around and asking, hey, what, do you, what are you seeing in this view here? It was unreal. I will post the link to this if you haven't seen it yet. I would be shocked because uh, it one has a ton of different views on it. But uh, it was just a really cool uh, just use case workflow. Interesting to see where this is going and like how fast this stuff is changing. I mean, miss a week, missed a ton of stuff. This was just awesome. Really cool uh, to see what came out here. I'll post the link to this. Uh, but man, all things AI this week. Holy cow. Uh, really excited to see some stuff uh, back from GPT-40. Uh, so uh, really great stuff here. Let's move back into the next section here of a give them a follow. Uh, what I want to do here as I bring this in is uh, I've been waiting to uh, give these guys a shout out here for a long time. And this is the Elios team. Uh, let me bring them in here. Or, or, or Flyability, actually the company name. And Elios is the, uh, I guess hardware I wanted to kind of focus on here a bit, but I've seen this a couple times um, as demos and kind of some examples here. Just, I think what they're doing is so exciting around the inspection space. Uh, Flyability is a company, go give them a follow. I would encourage you to go check out their page and all the different hardware that they have on here. But this uh, Elios, I've been, I think they're on their third iteration here. If I go all the way back to the top and uh, kind of scroll through some of these things, but just a really I think exciting way to do inspections and some of the kind of benefits that they have here and the way that they've built out this hardware. Give them a follow. Some of the stuff that they've done uh, with these is just incredible, especially more in kind of the oil and gas reality capture side of things. Uh, but I've just been really encouraged by uh, how uh, portable, how rugged they are. I mean, I've seen some of the videos of just some really interesting applications that they put these in, but go check out Flyability over on LinkedIn or wherever you kind of go and consume other things like this of just uh, their team and what there is that they're building. But uh, yeah, go check them out. I just thought it was really interesting to see. Go give them a follow and check out some of the stuff that they're doing over there. So uh, the next one here, let's get into uh, who's crushing it. Kind of also along these lines here too. Uh, there we go. Uh, along these lines in kind of the inspection-based uh, robotics or drone space here. Uh, I've been also wanting to feature these guys for a long time. Uh, and this is the uh, Clio donut drone. I remember the first time that I saw this here, let me bring it in. Uh, the first time I saw this, I was like, this reminds me, this is going to age me a little bit here too, of the movie Flubber. Uh, yes, uh, I'm bringing back some Robin Williams days here, but it, this was like the drone that was flying around in Flubber. If you remember kind of the uh, robot in that movie. Uh, but what's really cool about this, uh, obviously it's had a completely different concept of how it's uh, doing its propulsion system of kind of being a singular um, uh, propeller there and using kind of the propulsion down, like I know what I'm talking about as if I built this, but uh, just a really cool, I, I like some of their uh, videos that they put out in the content of how it's being used. I just thought this was super neat. Uh, go, man, I think you guys are crushing it. Clearly you're onto something here in kind of this space, uh, the interior inspection side of life and uh, just how this is a really different approach, uh, a little bit to the flyability team of, uh, how they're going about uh, using this as an inspection. I think a little bit more on the inside. The uh, the other one that we talked about was more kind of a just rugged uh, inspection base where this one, I, they have a lot of demos of it going on inside. So uh, I'm getting really bad at following my timer here. So let me uh, get back on track here. Who's crushing it, Cleo? Go check them out here uh, and let's get into the on the horizon. So uh, we've I feel like I've been featuring uh, more conferences and events. We're moving into that kind of summer busy season here. And another one to highlight and focus on here is the Energy Drone and Robotics uh, Summit here. And that's actually coming up here in a little bit less than a month down in the Houston area. Our team will be there. Great event. Uh, just really interesting if you want to see if some of these things are interesting to you uh, of some of the kind of robotics in the uh, energy uh, space uh, that we've been talking about with the um, uh, two different examples that we just showed. But 
Uh, this is a great event. I, I know a lot of folks that are going to attend this and really companies that will be down there. Uh, and again, our team will be down there too and just encourage you if this is something that uh, you're curious to know more about or very interested to see, would uh, encourage you to go head on down to Houston here in about a month uh, to check out this uh, event that's on the horizon. So last but not least here, let's get into the hot take. And it kind of is around this idea of what we've been talking about here uh, with robotics. And the hot take that I really wanted to kind of elevate and focus on is the software side of it with how do you control and operate some of these different robotics. And uh, we just released this new uh, landing page here on supported hardware on really all these fronts, drones, ground cameras, ground robotics, dock drones, the whole nine yards. And the hot take here really is around, this is I think what's so exciting is when we have the ability to go in and actually uh, control and operate and do very uh, complex things in a very simple way with these robots. And what's just really exciting about this, I'll put a link to this so you can go and check out all the different hardware that we support uh, from drones to ground cameras to uh, robots. It, this is just, I think, really exciting. One, because this page uh, really needed a refresh, but two, just to give you some insight into the different tools that we do uh, interact with and touch and different uh, applications that we get to serve. And so uh, one, this is obviously as a result of uh, these different hardware manufacturers allowing us access to some of those things too. And so as I'm sure many of you uh, are excited about, hey, what else can you support? Uh, that's a big thing to really help elevate and promote that and saying, hey, open up uh, the ability for you to control those things with uh, our team to be able to do that. So I'll put a link to that. Go check it out if you are curious about some of the different hardware that we uh, do recommend and support uh, as a part of our platform. So one, uh, great to see you again. Glad to be back. Uh, really appreciate you tuning in here with the recap this week. I hope you have a great weekend. We will see you next week. Take care.